Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So the previous video, we were working on the main body right here where we got the, uh, the back of it or the base of this casting machine flat and got our holes drilled in there as well. So now we're gonna move on to the next phase of getting this surface here machined. We gotta face it, drill and tap some holes, and then we need to rotate it to the other side so that we can machine the uh, face here where the jaw is bolt on. I'm gonna use this uh, big angle plate right here and this is the surface that we just machined. And we're gonna be swinging this around here and just bolting it right up to this angle plate right there. Now these slots don't align. This is actually an eight inch uh, center to center hole for a five eighths bolts right there. And since these don't line up, what I'm gonna do is set this angle plate up and actually drill and tap me two holes uh, perfectly center line so that what we can do is pick this guy up and hang it on the angle plate right here and just let our two bolts, we'll just get some 5 eighths bolts and uh, bolt that on there. And we'll let the two bolts be our, basically our pins that this is gonna set down on. And then that will make this surface here perpendicular to what it is that we're gonna be machining. I think two bolts is gonna be uh, plenty good for what we're wanting to do right there. I've got another angle plate bolted down there. We're gonna bolt our big angle plate to this side, let it hang out so we can do our drilling and tapping. And we've got that trammed in nicely there. This isn't perfectly straight across there. You got a little bit of a, a dip there, about three thousandths bow in the middle, but we've got each end zero, zero on the indicator. So it should be straight in line with the axis there. We've got the top side of the angle plate there trammed in nicely. Let's see what went in a thousandths. I just had to put a shim on one side to get one side to kick up a little bit. It'll bridge that gap right there. Yep, that's looking good. So we'll make sure those are good and tight and we'll, ready, we'll be ready to uh, center it. I got to figure out where exactly I want my holes at here, probably somewhere in the middle or so and then we'll just uh, drill it and tap it. We're gonna do a bottom hole there because the holes are gonna end up being about on the ribs. You could offset it somewhere if you wanted to, but I'd really, I'd rather just be in the middle of this. And this is almost an inch thick, so all we gotta do is go down about three quarters of an inch and uh, tap it with a bottom tap, and that's gonna suffice just fine.
All right, I got a couple of these 5 8 studs here that we can use to hold the vise on. Look at that, it's got an excellent fit. All right, so we'll swing our vise body in here, line it up. We got some heavy duty washers and then some nice heavy duty flange nuts there to hold it up. All right, so this part is finished. We can go ahead and disassemble all this and then get this angle plate set back up here on the table. We got the angle plate bolted down. I've already got it trammed in there. And what I was gonna point out, we're, we're working off of this groove. This is a groove I'm, or a slot I've machined in here a while back for something. I can't remember exactly what I put this in there for, but I wanna say it was to line up on uh, the machine T-slot table on the horizontal bore mill quite a few years back. I think that's what it was for. But anyway, whenever I set this up, I went ahead and located the center of this slot. So we'll do the same thing. It's deep enough I can come in with the edge finder and find the center of that slot. And that'll put us in the, in the very center of our casting. And then that'll put us on a center line for our holes that we're gonna be machining in there. I got to get this thing mounted up on the angle plate here. I need to get it mounted on the angle plate or at least sitting on here. I need to get the, uh, the spindle of the machine moved over here. So we're going to have to rotate the turret, probably move it around a little bit. All right, but we need to get the we need to get the spindle of the machine over here to where I know that this is in a position that we can travel both both directions here without the bottom of the casting hitting the mill here. And we also need to make sure that we have enough travel that we can come all the way out here with our face mill clear it when we move our Y all the way back that way. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to just get it on there. And then I've got to rotate the turn around and bring this out and get it lined up out here. Once we do that, I'll move this off out of the way and I'm going to center up on that slot there like we did the first time whenever we drilled our holes there because I'm going to work off of this center line of that slot right there. That'll be the center line of our casting for our holes that we're going to be drilling and tapping. We got these studs tightened up in the holes. We are ready to mount this thing again. back there. We are ready to machine. 